Becky, we'll start with you because Sarah's done a lot of talking uh, <laughs> already in this room. Um, Manchester City, how are you feeling about that? It doesn't, it doesn't get a lot bigger, does it, as far as times go? Uh, no, um, we're all really excited. Obviously, there's some nerves kicking in, but no, it, it's just pure excitement. It's what we play football for. We want to be playing against the best teams, and you know, we have got a few youngsters that are coming through. You can see that they are looking like, quite nervous for this game, and we've just been putting our arm around, around them and just saying, like, just take it for what it is. This is what you want to be playing football for. So just be excited, and that's all we're really looking at. It. And so it's, it's against some of the best players in the world. You've got England internationals in there. It's been shown live on the BBC as well. So this is something that a lot of the players will never have experienced, I'm guessing. Yeah, yeah, me, myself included. Um, I've never played in front of like, anything being te televised apart from like the FA player. So, no, it, it is it's exciting coming up against literally the best in the league, the best in the world. And I think this is exactly what you play the game for. That's what the FA Cup's all about. So we're just going to approach it as, as best as we possibly can and just go out there and give it everything. I think it's, um, I'll say to say, there's a few of mm -hmm. us that got quite emotional when it got announced in terms oh, yeah. of one, the, the fixture itself, but two, the fact that it's televised because we've done so much for this club and mm -hmm. the people in the background have done so much, much for this club. So the fact that this is happening right now is incredible. Um, I think the club deserve it, so we're taking it as it is. And it's just a really proud moment for us. Yeah, definitely. It's massive. Yeah, because Durham Women's been a fixture of North East football for so long. Mm -hmm. So to finally get this kind of spotlight moment, that that's, that was emotional, was it, to get that? Yeah, yeah it was, yeah. Oh, for, yeah. For a few weeks, yeah. <laughs> Which, I mean, like, Wilson will, t will say it itself. Yeah. Like, like, the, like, tears were shed. <laughs> like, but just, prou just proudness, because, yeah. I mean, it's, it's something that we all aspire to be. And, like, I'm... Um, I, if I'm one of them, but I'll say that when I was young, to be able to say that I'm playing against some of the best players in the world, it's it's incredible, and I'm I'm really really proud to, to say that some of them players are going to be coming to to Maiden Castle and in front of our amazing fans as well. Yeah. What do you think that's going to be like walking out alongside I don't know Chloe Kelly or whoever it is? How do you think you'll feel? Yeah, it's, <laughs> well that, that's it, isn't it? It's yeah, just, it's, yeah. It's starstruck, but at the same time, like we deserve to be there as well. Like we yeah. we work very hard to get ourselves in, in this position and. It's it's amazing that we're playing against them, but it, we're still Durham at the end of the day, and we're going to give them absolutely everything on that pitch. So we'll see how it goes. <laughs> and Sarah, you've had you know hundreds coming to watch you for league games, but yeah. this is going to be a record yeah. crowd, maybe over two thousand people at least. Yeah. So. Yeah. That, that's going to be pretty special, right? It is. I think we're, we're just saying it's important for the players, obviously the, the staff who have worked to, to get the fixture and, and done everything for the club over the years, but we've got an unbelievable fan base and I think it's just as important for them as what it is to us. And there's some people who have literally been coming since we first started playing like in the league 10 years ago. So it's, it's really special for them. And I think just for some of the young girls in the area to come and see literally the best players in the world, is it's going to be an incredible opportunity for them and just to see you know like what the club's all about and what we can play against and what they can potentially play against in the future so it is exact it's exciting and the game sold out I think within a few minutes to be honest and it's just a pity that we don't have a, a massive stadium because I, I feel like we would have like doubled or trebled that number even more so no it is it's good it's going to be exciting yeah maybe one day yeah yeah 100% I've got no doubt about that all right thank you both I'll thank, you. My, thank you cheers thank you Yep, so um, obviously you've spoken about, about the occasion, but in terms of it's a massive sellout crowd, kind of how much will that sort of spur you on um, and sort of playing in front of that, something maybe not done before at Main Park? Yeah, I think um, the, like, the, the crowd really know how to get behind with. Um, it's like really animated on a Sunday, it's, it's incredible some of the noise that they bring. And I know it's a bit cliche to say, but they do genuinely get you over the line. Like it, it's a real like family personal club, and we know the fans, and we know how much they're going to back with. So I think having over two thousand of them out there, hopefully getting behind us, that'll that'll give us that little bit of an advantage. Yeah, like Wilson said, I think women's football is slightly different than men's football in the sense of that there is that family connection there, and like you see us like interacting with with the fans after the game and stuff, and. I think that's why it's so close, and you can you can feel them. Like I mean, Maiden Castle itself is a small pitch, and you are so close to the fans, so you hear everything. Sometimes it's not what you want to hear, but <laughs> you, you do hear them, and, and it really does get you off the line sometimes. Like Wilson said. Yeah. Obviously, playing against internationals, players are playing World Cup finals. Um, sort of how much you're looking forward to that challenge, and kind of showing you what you can do personally. Yeah, I think it's exciting. Um, 
we're just saying earlier we're not shying away from the fact that it's going to be incredibly difficult but we'll have to back ourselves as players as well like we've got an unbelievable team we've got some un unbelievable like really young players who are going to look at this as a, an opportunity um, to really test themselves including myself against the best and like I'm not afraid to say I'm really excited so I think a lot of the girls have just got that buzz whether you're one of the most experienced players in the team or one of the younger ones coming through I think it's so exciting you've just got to take the opportunity and, and run for it. Yeah definitely I think in terms of you've obviously welcomed like likes of Chelsea to up here before does that kind of help your preparations for a game like this being involved in a game like that before? Yeah, no, definitely. I mean, like, there's there's a handful of us that have been here for several years and, and did play against Chelsea a few years ago as well, so we take experience from that. But we're now competing against professionals week in, week out, so yes, okay, there is a gulf between our division and their division, and you could argue there's a gulf between in their division itself, yeah. um, with Man City obviously being up at the, up at the top there. Um, but no, it's, it's a game of football at the end of the day, and we've got home advantage, it's the FA Cup. A little bit of magic, you never know, and that's what we'll just be. We'll be given absolutely every, everything on the day, and, and fingers crossed we can get something out of it. But like Wilson said, we're not naive to the capabilities that they've got, but we'll focus on ourselves and, and fingers crossed. Yeah. Obviously, massive game in the Cup televised. Um, how how much does that mean to the club as a whole, and certainly kind of growing the club and the sport in the northeast too? Yeah, it's it's massive. It, it's huge for the club because obviously we've never had this opportunity before, and it kind of it's a huge like well done to everyone who's worked behind the team to get where away we are at this point and hopefully this is just the beginning like hopefully we can continue to do this and you never know in a few years time what the game is going to look like and the way it is going it is going to look like this so maybe it's just a little bit of a taste of what's to come but it is it's really exciting and it's it's obviously great for us as players but I think the staff who have worked to get here it's just as important for them as well it, it's class. I think it's really important for the fans as well. Mm -hmm. I know there's there's a couple that have come and have shown pictures that who they were mascots at the Chelsea game and now they're playing themselves and it's it's allowing the girls from our area especially as well to know that there's the possibilities of doing that. There's obviously a lot of a lot of um, media out there about all the clubs down south and there's not so much about the North East anymore, even though there's a vast uh, group of players that have come yeah. from the North East that are now playing in World Cup finals, like you say, and I think it's really important that they can see it, that no matter where they are, no matter what area of the country they come from, that there is that opportunity to go and play and play against some of the best players in the world. And, and Durham does that so well, as well as the other clubs in the North East. And we just need to keep pushing and, and hopefully the women's game in general, both as well in our area, can keep growing. Yeah, definitely. And just kind of the final one, how confident are you that you can spring a surprise? <laughs> <laughs> Anything can happen. It's the FA Cup and we're just going to go out there and focus on ourselves and just play the game not the occasion that's what they always say isn't it so yeah we'll just we'll go out there and give it everything I mean why the hell not I know like, why exactly. the hell not I, I mean the, there's been bigger upsets in, <clears throat> in like the men and the women's like, game mm -hmm. um, it's it's a fantastic opportunity and I, I, like we're not just here to take part we yeah, really yeah. are like we're here to compete and I'm pretty sure we'll, we'll put absolutely everything out there and again I'm not trying to be disrespectful to Man City in any way because we're absolutely aware of the capabilities but we're just as aware of our capabilities as well and what we do well together as a team, as a family is that grit and that North East grit and hopefully we can show that on Sunday.